After winning the National League last season, we are finally promoted to the EFL League 2 for the first time ever in Western Supermare's history. That's why right, we are now in League 2. Four seasons has taken us to get from National League South to here. Three seasons in the National League. Difficult seasons as well. Definitely overachieved in a couple of them. Last season we deserved to go up as winners, I think. This season is going to be a lot more difficult. Saying that, we have signed one or two players. 19 players. I know, it's ridiculous. Oh, most of them are free transfers. Okay, just... I'll beat around the bush. Most of them are free transfers. But we needed to sign players because we've got a lot of competitions this year. A lot of games we played. Not just the 46 in the league. You've got the FA Cup. You've got the Carabao Cup. You've got the Bristol Paint Trophy. Whatever it's called these days. So we managed to spend 95k. And that was bringing in one player. The one player we did bring in was Mike Butler from Bristol City. A 20-year-old left midfielder. Because we haven't got many of them now. And he looks alright. He's not a League 2 player yet. Potentially League 2 standard, but given enough game time, I think he might he might progress well. He's in the under 21s at the moment, so he's not going to start straight away. But we've got a couple of loan signings. Do the loans first. Kofi Shaw from Bristol Rovers. 20 year old looks good. Andrew Morton from Reading, another left wing, right wing um, midfielder. Currently injured out for four to six weeks. He's done well. He started, he's, he's, he started a few games, done well. Sahil Pashir. I think I'm pronouncing that right. No winger. We some more wingers from Swansea on loan. Ethan Wheatley on loan from Swansea, a striker. Hopefully he'll put the ball in the back of the net. And another winger. We've got, we've got a lot of wingers, and we've got two wingers. Peter Johnson's come in on loan from Bournemouth. Potential wonder kid. 18 years old. The free transfers, we need a new keeper. We brought in Ted Kurd. Ted Kurd, you might hear from, uh, used to be at Hashtag United on loan from Chelsea. He was released from Chelsea. We bring him in. Didn't cost nothing. Josh Okocha. Free transfer, centre back. Yeah, released by Salford. He's come to us on a free transfer. Manny Norkett, a striker. He was released by Nottingham Forest, a League Two striker. I need more strikers, basically. Yerry Yates, released by Swansea. Experience, 30 years old, knows where the back of the net is. He'll do well for us. He's here for a couple of seasons. He'll do well for us. He's on a bit of a big wage, though. 2.8k a week, which is one of the highest we got. Uh, Terence Miles, released by Sunderland, defender. Brandon, Brian Moore. Another defender. I'm not sure who he used to play for. Released by... Released by Blackburn. Never get any game time. But he's done well since he's come in. Joshua Dufus. Released by... Oh, was he Brighton in the end? Eventually? Yeah, Brighton. He's not the full package, but he's got potential to be a League One player, which is good. 22 years old, young. Jack Lewis, a central midfielder. Got some decent stats for this standard. Was released by Leicester. Benton Hurd, a young 22-year-old midfielder, released by West Brom, I do want to say. Yes, released by West Brom in the Championship. Played three games last season in the Championship, so I dropped down a couple of leagues, but still a decent player. Lewis Richards, a left-back, a League 2 left-back. Could be a League 1, released by Bradford. Knows the league well. Hogan Briggs, a 22-year-old central midfielder, released by Leicester. Potential will be a decent League 1 player. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for players who are going to be decent in League 1. Build a team for League One, even though we are in League Two. And the last one was Dion Sanderson, released by Birmingham. So he played in the Championship last season. He's dropped down two divisions. He's a League One player, so that's the standard we're looking for. This sort of player. He's here for a couple of seasons, and he's a solid at the back. Tactic-wise, we are sticking with what we've used so far. The four-three-three. It's worked well so far. But do pick best eleven without restrictions. This is what it comes up with. Ted Curd in goal, Miles Sanderson, Brian Warren and Richards at the back. Reese Walters, come back from fitness. He's a uh, free signing from Port Vale. It didn't come up for some reason, I don't know why. Decent young player, 21 years old. He's got to be our DM, but he's just come back from injury. Kofi Shaw on loan from Bristol Rovers. Peter Johnson on loan from Bournemouth. Uh, Fenton Hurd on the right. And you've got Yerry Yates and Sunup Bell, who's still here. Right, 2.6 million, 23 years old, potential to be a Premier League player. Can he be the player who takes us all the way to the Premier League? Will he be, be here that long? Let's hope he does. 23 years old, we've got enough time on him. So that is our best 11 without restrictions. Plus, we've got a load of other players. You know, but like I said, 46 games, plus you've got your cups. 
quality and depth is what we need. Schedule wise, and we've done not too bad so far. We've actually got a, we've actually got a transfer window. It actually closes on the first of September, so that's where we are now. We're literally on eleven o'clock. Transfer window has just closed. So the first game of the season, we won 6-2 against Accrington Stanley. And I thought, here we go. We're building a great team here. Then we lost to Scunthorpe 3-1. A bit more down to earth. Beat Stevenage 2-0. Beat Harrogate 2-0. And then drew with Gillingham. So three wins, one draw, one defeat. Not bad start to the season, if you must say. Competition-wise, after five games, we are sitting seventh in the playoffs. Now we can finish here absolutely fantastic our main aim is staying in this league this season building a reputation hopefully by then the board and the chairman might want to improve facilities and youth recruitment and all that i have been begging and begging and begging so much so i'm getting ticked off now because they just said no 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 we can't do it even though we're now a professional team we need to improve our facilities so if we can cement a League 2 place this season, fantastic. We'll go from there. You know, we can build from there. The bookies have us finishing 8th. Now, that's not too bad. That's the highest ones out of a promoted team. 8th, 9-1. to one. Now, that's not bad at all. That is not bad whatsoever. Let's simulate Season 5 and see where we end up in the Sky Bet League 2. Anything above relegation is an absolute bonus we kicked off september with a 3-1 win over bradford city before losing 3-2 to northampton in the efl trophy seventh section but then we smashed them 6-0 in the league kofi Shaw getting the score underway in the 13th minute before yeri yates made it 2-0 six minutes later soon up bell got on the score sheet and peter johnson made it 4-0 at half time a minute after half time, Joe Yates got his second of the game and scoring wrapped up with Ethan Wheatley. That was followed up by a 2 1 defeat to Shrewsbury. Jake Beasley in the 25th minute got Shrewsbury's opener. Before four minutes later, Kofi Shaw got us an equaliser. And Luke de Frigoros, I think I pronounced that right, in the 31st minute got the winner for Shrewsbury. In the league, we are fifth on 17 points, six points behind AFC Wimbledon. We drew with our local rivals, Yeovil, 2 all before beating Fulham on the 21s 2 1 in the EFL Trophy. We drew 1 all with Forest Green Rovers and then beat Newport County 1 0. We smashed Stockport County 5 1 in the FA Cup first round with a Sunup Bell hat trick. He got his first goal in the 20th minute before getting his second in the 44th minute, making it 2-0 at half-time. Stockport got a goal back just after half-time through Jack Shepard before Kofi Shaw got us a, a third goal in the 76th minute. Sinop Bell got his hat-trick in the 82nd minute. And then Yeri Yates put the icing on the cake in the 89th minute for a penalty. We are still sitting in 5th place, but we're now 7 points behind AFC Wimbledon. A comfortable 2-0 win over Doncaster, before losing 3-2 to Charlton in the EFL Trophy. We beat Tranmere 3-0, with goals again from Sunak Bell in the 23rd minute. Got a second in the 44th minute, so it was 2-0 at half time. And then Brandon Bryant won in the 52nd minute, make it 3 0, and all three points went to Weston. We beat Crew 3 2 in the FA Cup second round. Saxon early in the 21st minute got their score underway for Crew. For three minutes later, Kofi Short got us an equaliser. Terence Miles made it 2 1 us. For two minutes later, James Marshall got another equaliser for Crew. And a minute before half time, Lewis Richards got the winner, we're into the third round. And in the league, we are currently sitting in the playoffs in 44 points. Why is my voice going high? I don't know. A double from Yeri Yates gave us a 2-1 win over Wickham, before a top of the table clash finished 1-1. Soon up Bell in the 23rd minute gave us the lead. But with a minute to go to full time, Dan Parker stepped up and equalised for AFC Wimbledon. 
We also drew one all with Grimsby. And I had a hell of a game against Shrewsbury with a 4 3. Soon up Bell again on the score sheet in my 10th minute. Thought it was 2 0 in the 21st minute for Ethan Wheatley. A minute later, it was 3 0 as soon as Bell got his second. And in 28 minutes, it was 4 0 when Wheatley got his second. We were 4 0 up at half time. Surely we cannot throw this away. Gary Greenhouse got one back for Shrewsbury in the 46th minute. And just after the hour mark, Zach Booth got their second. And in the 76th minute, he got their third. Squeaky bum, but we held on. And again, we couldn't beat our local rivals here, we'll draw one all. And we are now sitting in third place, three points off Chesterfield, who now sit top. We crash out of the FA Cup after losing 3 1 to Middlesbrough, before two all draw against top of the table, Chesterfield. And also another two all draw against Morecambe. But we did smash Bradford City 5 1. Even Wheatley getting the score and underway in the fifth minute before Andrew Morton made it 2 0 in the 10th minute. It was 3 0 in the 22nd minute. Andrew Morton getting his second. And five minutes later, it was 4 0. Ethan Wheatley getting a brace as well. But a minute later, Tyler Smith did get a goal back for Bradford City. But the scoring was wrapped up through a Yerry Yates penalty in the 72nd minute. And we are four points now behind Chesterfield, sitting at the top of the table. A Fenton Hood goal was the only goal scored in the 1-0 win over South End in the 70th minute. And a soon up bell goal that just after the half hour mark was enough to beat Doncaster 1-0. And a shock 1-0 defeat to Fleetwood for a Liam Roberts goal in the 77th minute just has really summed up our season. With nine games to go, we are sitting second and two points behind Chesterfield. And the mother of all comebacks, winning 3-2 against Scunthorpe, being 2-0 down with five minutes to go. Alfie Rutherford getting the goals for Scunthorpe and Dexter Labiska in the 71st minute was sure that Scunthorpe would take all three points. But Dufus in the 84th minute got one back for us. A minute later, Bashir got the equalizer in the 85th minute. And in the 95th minute, Ethan Wheatley did this to give us all three points, which spurred us on to beat Accrington Stanley 3 1 and then smash Stevenage 6 0 with Sunup Bell getting himself four goals. This first was in the fourth minute. Peter Johnson also got him a score in the eleventh minute. Before Sunup Bell got his second in the twenty-seventh minute. Yeri Yates got one in the thirty-sixth minute, which made it four 0 at half time. And in the fifty-seventh minute, Sunup Bell wrapped up his hat trick. Four minutes later though, he wanted another one. That's four goals in one game. And we are now sitting at the top of the league, two points clear with four games remaining. Going into our final four games, we knew we couldn't drop any points and we beat Wickham 3-0. We beat Port Vale 2-0. Now we know if we beat Tranmere, we will become the Sky Bet League 2 champions. And in the 16th minute, Callum Hewitt did this to make it 1-0. It was a nervy game. Second half, Yo Yates in the 72nd minute made it 2-0 for Manny Norkett in the 80th minute made it 3-0 and that can only mean one thing. We are the Sky Bet League 2 champions. We have gone, we have got back-to-back -back promotions which means we were playing in League 1 next season. Western Superman are going places. Who wouldn't want to sign for us now? Oh my dear God, what have I just done? Scrap that. What have we just done? What has this team just done? Champions of the Sky Bet League 2, where I thought we would struggle and finish at least mid table. But to go on and win it by a single point. 
boys, boys, boys. Fantastic. Unbelievable. The team that I built here is a great team, don't get me wrong. And they work hard. They've got to work hard with this tactic, and it shows that they have worked hard. Forest Green also come up 100 points, and Forest Green manager Gary O'Neill is the Forest Green manager. And they got players who are on a lot more money than ours are worth a lot more money than we are. They finish second. Chesterfield finish in third place on 94 points. Fleetwood get promoted through the playoffs, finish in seventh overall. Northampton and Morecambe are relegated. But next season, we are be playing Skybet League One football with the likes of Sheffield Wednesday, Preston, Wigan, Charlton, Millwall, Stoke, Stockport, Salford, Swindon, Wrexham got relegated. Same as Bristol Rovers, which is a shame because we'd like to play them at a local derby. But who else is coming down from the championship? Watford, MK Dons, Blackburn. It's going to be a very, very difficult season next year. Bristol Street Miller's Trophy, we were knocked out in the southern section. Finishing in third place behind Charlton after Northampton. Fair play. We didn't get out of the group stage for that one. Carabao Cup were knocked out in the third round by Notts County, but we knew that already before we simulate the season. FA Cup, we had a good run again. Knocked out in the third round by Middlesbrough, losing 3 1 there. And the final, Chelsea just beat Mount United 2 0. So we did all right again. Third round, it's not bad. It's not, not quite as good as last year's, but still. Sunup Bell with 24 goals was the league's top scorer. Three of our players we had, or average ratings, are in there. Sunup Bell, Lewis Richards, and Andrew Morton. Man of matches, Sunup Bell got eight clean sheets, and we finished second, Ted. Could 17 clean sheets. Yellow cards, we finished top and fourth. That's never good. That's never good at all. And um, we had the most red cards. We had five. Five red cards. Squad wise, who got all the goals? See that Bell with 30 goals in 44 appearances. Then comes Jerry Yates, 23 and 48. Ethan Wheatley got 18 and 21 starts, 26 from the bench. Andrew Morton got 11. Kofi Shaw got 8. Peter Johnson got six. Terence Miles got himself six. Fenton Hurd got five. Lewis Richard, five. Not a lot of goals shared round, but enough to win the league. Terence Miles with 14 assists. Hurd got 13. Callum Hewitt got 10. Lewis Richard got 10. So overall, not a bad season whatsoever. Ability wise, squad wise, we're, we're massively underpowered next for next season. You've got three or four players that you could probably do all right. Now, Ted Curley's wanted as well, probably. He is indeed, but Huddersfield is a League One player. Could improve a bit more. I think he will. It'll be a great season. Great, great season. Soon up Bell. He's, a, a, like I said, potential to be a decent Premier League player. He's just signed a new contract here for another two seasons. So, hopefully, in those two seasons, we could be a championship team. One season in, in League One and then promoted. That's the idea. That's the plan. When you were doing one league in League Two, one season in League Two before we got promoted, that didn't quite work out. We got ahead of ourselves before we're ready, I think. Dion Samson's got experience, but apart from that, we are going to struggle, I think. And um, there's a players we're asking to leave. There is five players asking to leave. Contract-wise, there's a few up for grabs as well. Plus, obviously, you got the loans that are going out. The players you haven't played are really going to struggle. Kind of hurts. He's up for grabs. We're going to have to have a rebuild in the summer with a budget of 121k and a wage budget of just over four grand. Three transfers galore again and loans. That is what we're going to be based on this summer again. So that is it for another season of having a Western Super back-to-back -back promotions. Not bad. Not bad. It's going to be more difficult next season, definitely. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more of my FM24 content. FM25 is just around the corner. Hopefully, we can smash some stuff out from that. And if you've made it this far into the video, comment down below saying bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Until next time, guys, take a stay, look after yourself, and I'll see you all in the Sky Bet League One, where we do it all again. Can we get a third promotion? Who knows? Doodles.